Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our special show. As you probably already read on the newspapers or online, we have a special guest tonight. It's from, uh, he's from Norway, and his name is Elvin Stö. He's the uh, director um, of research of the National Institute for Consumer Research in Norway. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much. And welcome to Telecons, uh, the first and the only uh, uh, TV for the consumer. Mm, very good. I think this is uh, very important to say. And um, we want uh, our viewers to know um, why you are here in Romania, because it's a very special project. Uh, the, the special uh, occasion is uh, the, the uh, cooperation between Norway and uh, uh, Romania, dealing with the, the Norway's obligation to European Union, setting up a project uh, for uh, uh, citizenships uh, in many countries and, and this time uh, Romania is a part of, of the deal. Norway is, is not a member of the European Union but we are a member of the European Economic Area and are paying some contingent to, 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 uh, to participate in this and, and uh, they, they have developed some sort of, of project uh, for, for uh, especially the Eastern or uh, Central European, European countries and, and lots of money is set up to, to deal with, with uh, citizenship and, and other important issues. This is very important for our country and for our consumers also. Yes, uh, it's very important and, uh, and if, I, if you look at the history of that kind of product, I don't think that so many products have been dedicated for consumption, uh, consumers. They have found other, other uh, human rights, uh, uh, agriculture, vulnerable uh, 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 citizenship and so on, especially uh, uh, and also, uh, many of the countries have specific problems dealing with, with uh, that they're taking care of within that budget. But, but uh, I think this is, very, this is very challenging, and I think that it's a very good idea. And, and it, the, the, today we had a meeting, and many hundred people were, 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 sh were showing up, and, and, and a double of them was not uh, able to come because there was, uh, there, were, there was not no space for it. So it shows that there is a a concern in Romania dealing with citizenship, uh, and, and, and I think that the money that are, are available here will not be enough for, for all the, 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 the projects and ideas and, and initiatives that have been taken in Romania. So, so I was very impressed by... by That's what uh, I want to ask, uh, if you expected this kind of uh, uh, response. No, I, I, I didn't, didn't but, uh, but I understand that, that, that there is a movement in, in your country that is interesting. and. Uh, if Norway can support this, uh, I would be very proud of that. I think that is a very good, very good idea. Speaking of uh, your country, it's very interesting to see a parallel from between what we do here and what your institute does. Mm. Yes, our institute was established just before the war and, and, uh, and uh, has uh, developed uh, the activity in many phases. In the 50s and 60s, we mainly did uh, test activity, uh, comparing uh, products, uh, testing the content of, of, of food, uh, dealing with uh, uh, households, uh, equipment and, and other products. Uh, since, since the 60s we have moved more to the society, dealing with social sciences, with, with the market. In many cases uh, we see that uh, the consumer problem have moved from the kitchen to the society, and we have, then we have to follow. <laughs> so this is, is one of the reasons. But we are still de doing a lot of testing activity, the, uh, uh, textiles, uh, household uh, appliances, and also uh, uh, detergents and other household chemicals uh, to see uh, both dealing with uh, with um, the, the quality of this product, but also with, with the sustainability, if they, if they are, uh, are green or, or, or not. So, so that is, this is the, the aspect we are dealing with. If you go back to the 60s and 70s, we had a much broader scope on the, on the testing, but it's very expensive to, to do testing, and, the, and, and so this is what we have found to do uh, uh, today. How is uh, your consumer's interest in this test? C consumer are always interested in testing. Uh, I think that uh, our problem is, of course, that 
when we are testing product, we can say that that uh, uh, on one parameter this is the best product, another parameter is another product could be the best. This is so, so this is difficult because the journalist always wants to have a an answer. What is the the best in test? This this is this the journalistic point there, but but I'm not quite sure whether that this is could uh, could be difficult to answer it. But uh, I think that all this testing activity that has been done by the consumer organization, not only in Norway, Norway but, but especially in other countries like like Germany, UK, uh, and so on, has uh, been a pressure for the uh, towards the, 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 the industry to improve the products. When uh, the industry uh, receive bad uh, bad testing results, they have of course two options. They can say yes, we will come back uh, next the, time uh, better uh, with better product. That is the, most of the, of the industry do that. But of course, somebody somebody are claiming the testing uh, <laughs> blame it on us. But 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 uh, uh, the most modern way to do it is of course that we will win the test next time next time and try to to improve improve the, the product. So, so I think that. Uh, in the history of of, uh, of um, testing has been a very important part of the consumer movement uh, in the last 50 years, I think, are, you know, and, and still is important. Uh, we are saying that we are moving from, from, from goods to services, but I'm not quite sure if that is the case. A lot of still are we using the products and, and, and the testing is, is important, and especially the independent testing. I think that you can you have to rely on the people that are doing it. Uh, the, we are testing a lot of detergents, and uh, I think that the, the detergent industry also are doing it. Uh, probably they are, they are better to test the, the, their own product than we are. But as the consumers, we don't trust the industry when I mean, they are saying this is the best product. Mm -hmm. So we have to do it independently. I think that this is a crucial matter in 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 in, in the whole the test strategy here. Yes, and it's very very important to win your customers' uh, trust. Yeah. And speaking of customers, we already have a question on the on our chat. Mm. Andre wants to know uh, about um, the way you protect your consumer in Norway, because here we uh, are just we are developing this, and with telecoms, this is what we want to do. We want uh -huh. to inform them, mm. to educate mm. them, to know their mm. rights. Yes, uh, that is a very good question because if you look at and again, the history of, 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 of the consumer movement, I always uh, find it find it very fruitful to use uh, the consumer message uh, put forward by President Kennedy in '62 to the American Congress uh, when he formulated his, 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 his first consumer rights, also being a part of the, of the Inter Consumer International uh, and, and other uh, late uh, after that. But but the, the, the four main. Uh, Consumer rights, but the right to safety, the right to be informed, the right to choose, and and especially the, uh, the fourth one, the right to to be heard. So so these these consumer rights uh, has to do with with uh, consumer laws. Uh, you need uh, safety, you need to be informed, you need labels, uh, and so on. But you also have the possibility to choose between products, between shops, be, between products. Uh, also, of course, it's used not to buy uh, as, an, as another option. But uh, but in order to, to to strengthen the consumer movement, you also have to have influence in the in the uh, lawmaking process to strengthen the consumers. So I think that that has, that uh, what we did in our history in Norway and, more, and in Nordic country more or less the same the same happened in Sweden, Finland, and and, and Denmark. Is that uh, in the in the 50s and 60s was the information uh, and the testing that was most imp most important. From uh, from the 70s, then the, uh, put up uh, especially consumer institution dealing with uh, to protecting con the consumer and also strengthen the consumer law, uh, both dealing with with uh, with. Uh, uh, complaint handling the rights when you are addressing products, also with with um, marketing, uh, fair marketing uh, act, uh, and also uh, other other consu consumer law laws, buying, selling, selling products. So I think that this is, this has been a, a very important part, and a problem for uh, Romania. I think that is that 
Today you are a member of the European Union, so I think that in principle you have more or less the same laws and, uh, as other countries, as also as Norway. There are some national differences, but you have more or less the same laws. Uh, but the main question is probably how, to, uh, how this is applied yes. uh, in the market, how, got, how well they are known by consumers, by, by the industry, by retailers and so on. But, but I think that uh, the laws put forward in most parliaments in, in Europe are building on more or less the same directive, European directive. So, 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 uh, so, so to take this step, uh, a step, step further from that you have right to, to get right when you uh, are in the, in, the, in, in the situation that you are, are complaining is, is the, thing, the next, next step. And I think that and that is, this movement is a part of it, so I think that it's very important. You spoke about the four rights of the consumer, yeah. and I'm sure you've uh, made your research here in Romania. Uh, do you think they are, um, uh, do you think the consumers know about these rights in Romania? I don't know uh, what, what you are doing, uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's your table. Uh, I know that... Uh, from that outside, from an outside point of view. I, it's, it, it, it's dependent how... how uh, I had uh, well, I was in a meeting about complaints some years ago, and, and uh, we see uh, see uh, statistical data that people in the Nordic countries and uh, Germany and so on are, are complaining more than you do in the southern part of Europe. So that could be an indication that that uh, people uh, don't know the rules good enough and and and. Uh, have a, a, a potential here to 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 strengthen the the. the the possibility to, to, to complain because this, this complaining is it has two two important uh, issues for for the, for the for the consumers uh, when you are uh, are complaining uh, you are buying a product they are not satisfied they are broken down uh, and and with the, the at least in Norway you have for for all products you have a two years uh, uh, possibility to to to, com to complain to redress the, uh, the the product for some it's even five years uh, um, uh, but uh, I have to do it of course uh, as soon as as thing has broken down you cannot you cannot wait uh, but but then you can go back to the shop and the shop has possibility to end, uh, either repair the product you can uh, have your money back or you can a new product and so on and I think that most of the complaint handling in Norway is sold at, the, at that level you never never very few are taken to court very few are taken to to other institutions to deal with complaint handling boards so so most are sold in the problem in, in, in the shop because the consumers and the retailers they know the rights and 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 they know what will happen if, if, if this is not, not solved. But the other coin of this is, is that also for the retailers and, and, uh, it's important, or for the producers, it's important to, to, to that, that, you bring, that I bring back the, the product I'm dissatisfied with. Because uh, you have two options when you are dissatisfied. You can voice, as the complaint is, or you can exit. You can go to another shop, another product, and, and, and the seller or producer don't know why. Uh, is it design there's something wrong with or is it the price or is it is, is, is the quality so 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 complaint is some sort of of a feedback that uh, both consumers and and uh, the, the producers can can use in in, in, in a dialogue to, to improve the, uh, the, the the products so your advice for us uh, would be that uh, the producers shouldn't be afraid of these complaints no no if they are serious uh, uh, producers not at all uh, and I think that if you look at, at the, the discussion every time in Norway we had the discussion about the improving of the of the uh, of the uh, consumer rights, you also s you see that uh, the serious uh, producers uh, they are more or less supporting uh, their rights. And if you look at one important one important thing is the European energy label. Uh, when they, it was introduced uh, 10, 15 years ago uh, um, with this ABC uh, label on, on, on uh, household appliances, uh, that this has changed the market for, for uh, that kind of products, washing machines, uh, refrigerators, completely in Europe. 
Bec uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, this has been a gain for for the consumers because you get get more quality product. It's a bit good for the energy market because you don't produce so much energy, but also been good for the for the serious businesses because they have increased their market shares. Uh, uh, so, so I think that that. Uh, uh, this consumer information and strength in consumer rights in the market uh, is no threat to serious uh, producers. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So to sum up uh, this chapter of our discussion, because we have a question on the chat regarding this, what should we learn from your experience, from Norway's experience, about uh, the customer and how to protect it? Mm -hmm. I think you, uh, my experience, works, I think if, if you take one Start with one one important step. Find what is the most important issue. Uh, and I don't think that you can uh, move from that kind of economy you have had for for for, for 50 years into a, a fully functional market economy with consumer rights uh, during a, a short time. So so you have to find what is the most important part and 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 try to solve this problem first. Uh, and then expand it uh, after. after. And, and I am not in a position to tell what kind of products, uh, what kind of, of, of uh, option you will choose. I think that uh, that must be in dialogue with your institution and with the consumers. What 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 are the most important things? But but uh, 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 yes. You uh, mentioned problems. Let's see. Uh, let's make a comparison between uh, the consumers' problems in Norway and the ones here in Romania, because I'm sure many are alike. Yes, uh, consumers uh, worldwide have more or less the same the same problem. We are, are uh, missing information about uh, what uh, what the content of, 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 of products are. Uh, we are always always fighting uh, towards uh, businesses that are trying to. To cheat us uh, and and so on. As if you look at at uh, at, uh, at uh, especially textiles are no, not produced in least in Norway anymore, and they are produced in 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 China, uh, in in India, and so on. And what's happening in 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 the beginning of this uh, value chain is very difficult to to, to understand, uh, and 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 it had created uh, cheap products, uh, but. Uh, I'm not quite sure if, if, if uh, and also probably the quality has improved also uh, after a while. But but uh, I'm afraid that the, the environmental impact is uh, is not not so so good. So so uh, to know what kind of uh, uh, the production process uh, is hidden, they are only only uh, forced to label what kind of fiber there is in, in the textile. The rest of them is, is not, uh, uh, is voluntary. So, so, so uh, uh, that is one of the reasons. And you also have all these food scandals that are more or less common from all over Europe. So also mm -hmm. showing that we are in, 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 we belong to the same market to have some of the, the same problem. And, 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 uh, and that is one of the reasons that we have to solve some of the problems together. But uh, speaking of these food uh, scandals, is uh, in Norway um, so much, uh, so many news on TV about these scandals, and then the consumer wonders, is this okay? Should I buy this? Uh, should I not? Mm. Yeah, there is, uh, there is a lot, lot of things about uh, 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 about this, uh, these food scandals in Norway. But but Norway is not a member of the European Union, so. And one of the reasons for it is the protection of the, of the national uh, agriculture production. So, so, uh, so for food, uh, there is uh, some restriction. Uh, so, so we are not importing uh, so much uh, food directly. Uh, so this is one of. But, but uh, of course, uh, we have found some of this. Uh, this. Uh, Horse meat in some of the products uh, sold in Norway as well. So, so, so I think that it also shows that again, when you, when this is this is the, f the free market for for cheating, uh, and, and again, I think that uh, more control here would, would help the serious producers that are, are producing uh, good quality product will 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 earn from from a more control system, and, and the people that are cheating. 
uh, will, will loosen if it is the case. So again, I think that uh, there are some common interests there, but, but I think that if you look at other food scandals, we have this, this, this meat code disease, we have the, the modern clothes disease as well in, in, in northern part of Europe, and, and, and so the trust, consumer trust in, in, in food is uh, uh, not so strong as it used to be. Uh, so this is w also one reason for uh, are you trusting the farmers, are you trusting, are you trusting the, the industry and we see some movement uh, that people are, are trying to to buy local product, buy, buy organic product, uh, buying uh, product where, where the value chain is not so long more 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 meat than prepared meat and so on so so, so this is is a movement uh, that we have seen i'm not quite sure how strong it is uh, because it is a matter of price and and we see in europe today that uh, many countries have big problems so so uh, to say people that you also have to choose the the, the most expensive products is uh, it's not a strategy that, that we from the consumer movement could come up with. Uh, as you can see, we have another question on the chat. Um, our viewer wants to know if you have a national policy aiming to educate consumers. This is very important because we can learn from your answer. Uh, no, we don't have that. Uh, I think that uh, uh, there is not a national policy on it, but uh, you will find uh, uh, in the, within the school system, uh, some years ago there was uh, uh, was that kind of uh, programs uh, dealing with both with with food and and, and nutrition, uh, especially uh, but also with with economy. Uh, but I think again, I think that uh, that uh, we see it very clearly in uh, some some. Uh, difference between the young people and, and, and people in my age uh, in, in this matter. I think that the young people has not uh, so many experiences and not the kind of, 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 uh, uh, of attitude to, to look at, 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 uh, at the labels uh, in the same way that, that uh, the grown-ups uh, uh, have so... Uh, but uh, this is problematic because you have the labels uh, best before or expire date and, and so on. And uh, I think that uh, this is a good, this is a good uh, label to inform consumers, but you have to use your head as well. You yes, how you, should we look at the label? You, you have to look at the label, but you also have to, to, to taste the product. Uh, if, it, it, if it's a, uh, orange juice, say that it was uh, is, uh, best before uh, uh, the 18th of, of uh, April, and you say, oh, this has uh, is expired. You can taste it. It's, it's allowed to do that uh, and, and, and use your, your, your tongue and, and your experience and gain some sort of experience during the, this process. But, but uh, the labels, uh, it's, it's difficult for consumers to, <laughs> to, to the label are, are a lot of information. Yes, this is important to know. How should we read the label yes, to understand yes, it? Yes, I, well, I think that what we have done in Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, is at least to build some nutrition label that, that, that help consumers. Uh, we have uh, busy times when you are shopping, you cannot look at all the labels. So, so this is a, a green keyhole uh, put on the products that are the best products within that each category as far as nutrition is concerned. So, 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 but the label is, of course, a matter of trust. If you don't trust it, then you have a problem. But I think that this is, uh, this is uh, in, in the Nordic countries, we have managed to build that kind of trust and, 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 and the market shares of that kind of product has increased reasonably in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, we have another question for you on the chat. Um, our viewer says, I know UK defined and implemented some years ago national policy for consumers education. Is this country alone in adopting such policy? Which body is in charge with market surveillance in Norway? Uh, what is surveillance in this? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Uh. Uh, protecting. Yes. Uh, in, in Norway we have a, a 
two institutions dealing with, with, with uh, market control. One, we have the consumer ombudsman, or we call it um, the consumer ombud. It's a gender neutral uh, institution dealing with marketing control act. Uh, so, uh, if you look at the marketing in Norway, they are to be a fair marketing uh, and, and uh, no uh, uh, sexual uh, advertising, uh, gender, gender neutral, and also so on. So, on. so they are protecting the the the, the advertisement and, and uh, taking things to court if they if they don't. Uh, put the advertiser don't don't stop uh, uh, this advertising. The other body is the consumer council. Uh, is a consumer organisation uh, dealing with the complaint handling and, and other as, and, and it's a consumer voice in all big matters in in Norway. And the, the last week had a, had a had a tremendous success because there was some. Uh, uh, complicated loans that people uh, uh, were, were taking uh, from from many banks uh, a couple of years ago, that show that this uh, product produced by the banking was difficult for consumers to understand, and they lost a lot of money. Uh, investment uh, packages, and uh, last week they won in the the court in Norway, and uh, and show that this is possible to to to. To deal with, to help the consumers, but so the consumer council that was running this process, there was difficult for the individual consumer to do it. So, so that is that the, the consumer council has they made a, a very tremendous task to to complain not only the single consumer but the group a group uh, of consumers in the same same position. So, so this is the two main uh, uh, dealing with, with consumption, but of course you also have other institutions dealing with with with, with food and. and but, but this are, they are governmental institution, and and, uh, and doing the uh, following the the, the, the laws and and and, the rest, uh, and uh, uh, directives from 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 the government. Uh, we are going to take a short break now, but I want to talk after the break about our rights and which are the steps uh, we should take in order to know our rights. We're taking a short break, and we'll be right back. Intra acum pe www.iatitudine.eu Dar ce ați făcut? Nimic, abia l-am cumpărat. Ați pus și degetele pe ecran și ați țipit de ăsta. 3 milioane și e ca nou. Glumiți. Știți cine sunt eu? Sunt cetățean european și am drepturi. Dacă produsul cumpărat nu funcționează cum trebuie, ai dreptul la reparație gratuită sau să primești altul în loc. E dreptul tău. Acționează. Intra acum pe www.iatitudine.eu și direcționează 2% din impozitul pe venit. Ajută-ne să ajutăm. Protejează mediul fără să faci efort. Intra acum pe www.iatitudine.eu și direcționează 2% din impozitul pe venit în campanii de protecție a mediului. Știți unde mă găsiți? Mulțumim! M-a schemat? Da, în pachet scria că avem aer condiționat și... A, am uitat! Poftiți! Glumiți! Știți cine suntem noi? Suntem cetățeni europeni și avem drepturi. Dacă pachetul turistic nu corespunde oferte inițiale, ai dreptul să ceri respectarea acesteia sau despăgubiri. E dreptul tău. Acționează. Salvează o viață fără să faci efort. Intră acum pe www.iatitudine.eu și direcționează 2% din impozitul pe venit pentru campanii de prevenire a abandonului și abuzului copiilor. O nouă atitudine. Ajută un copil fără să faci efort. Intră acum pe www.iatitudine.eu și direcționează 2% din impozitul pe venit în campanii de educare. We 
are back with our special edition and I was just about to ask our guest about uh, our rights as consumers and which are the steps we should take in order to know our rights correctly? Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure about that. You will probably know more about it than I do, but I think that one step could be, of course, to try to identify uh, how well consumers in Romania know their rights. Uh, what kind of rights they, they don't know about. Uh, I think that if you use the complaint as, 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 an, as, a, as a redress, as, a, as an example, you could try to find out how many people know uh, what kind of rights they have, have when they are uh, buy, buying a product. So, and and uh, because uh, you're saying that, uh, uh, and I also talk to people today, that they're saying that the main problem in Romania is that people don't know their rights. And they are probably correct, uh, but there could it could be more more differentiate this this kind of knowledge to find. This is what we're trying to change now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and but I'm asking from the consumer's point of view: uh -huh. should he be open-minded? I think that uh, consumer will learn from experience, uh, and I think that that is is. Uh, 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 and the problem in this market is that that. To build the kind of trust is is, is taking time. Uh, to lose trust takes only 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 a, a second. So, so, so I think that that is the the, the problem in, in the market uh, that you have to to build a, a, a trust. And, and I am doing consumer studies for, uh, and complaint studies for, for for decades, but I'm not a very good complainer myself. So 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 so, uh, so I'm always preparing myself when I'm complaining. But I'm coming to the shop, I realize that this is not not not, not a problem. So I think that that uh, to identify the problems first and try then to, to if if there is some hole in in uh, in the knowledge you have to 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 fill it. If there are some some holes in the in the laws, then you have to to strengthen the protection. So 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 I think you have to work on both fields. You have to help the consumers, but you also have to to have to help the politicians to to make the, the, the correct decision in, in Parliament and to strengthen consumer rights. So 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 I think that only working on, on helping consumers will not uh, will not be a good strategy but but this is uh, some way that uh, all the consumer organizations uh, all over the world have shown is, is important because they link, uh, they link the civil society uh, together and strengthen the consumer movement uh, and, 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 uh, and can strengthen the, the voice uh, in, in, in the market and in towards the politicians. So, so I think that working on both the political uh, aspects and, and on, on, on helping consumers is, is, a, is a dualistic strategy that I would rec recommend. And you also advise the consumer to take action? Yes. Consumer must take, take action. But the problem with this is also, also uh, is that uh, can you do it individually or, 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 or collectively? I think that in many cases consumers feel a little bit lonely Yes, they think. Oh, I don't think anyone else did this. Yes. So, so there, I think that the market, the, the, uh, what, what, uh, what we have a potential today is, of course, to use the, the the new web system, the information technology, to create some sort of collective action, that that used to be a very, very, very lonely and, and individual activity. So, so, so I think that. That that uh, to think in, in that direction to create some sort of of, 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 uh, of uh, virtual collectivism, uh, uh, showing that we are not we are not alone in this problem. And and again, my my experience from complaint is that that uh, when you are complaining on a product, you are probably not the first person that are complaining on the same product uh, because there are uh, uh, some. Something has been wrong with, with, with the products in the production process, and, and, and it shows in, in your use of it sooner, sooner or later. So, 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 so uh, yes, take action, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, don't be satisfied to tell your neighbors about it. Uh, do something to tell to tell to tell the world about it. I think that is that is uh, important.
Before we go to the next subject, we have another question from the chat. Corina wants to know if uh, in Norway there is an uh, equivalent to our uh, uh, National Association for the Protection of the Consumer. Of the consumer, yes. Uh, do you have a uh, what, what, what kind of? I don't know what what kind of institution you have here. Can you tell me a little about it before? Uh, yes, it's the institution that protects the consumer, yeah. the uh, consumers' rights. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, as I uh, said before, we have uh, the the consumer ombudsman dealing with the marketing uh, and consumer contract, uh, marketing control act, and. And uh, I've been in all the Nordic countries a, a reasonable success for, for uh, since the beginning of, of the, the 70s. Uh, and uh, it's one of the, let's say that you are claiming that this is a green product, then you have to, uh, to, to prove that this is the case. Uh, if you don't, cannot prove it, then, then you have to read the, 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 the advertisement. So in that case, uh, we, we see it very clearly, and also in the Consumer Council, are dealing with uh, uh, most of the other of, uh, uh, product related uh, and, and, and services, dealing with, uh, with uh, banking, with insurance, uh, with food related question, with uh, 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 holiday, uh, holidays and so on. So, so uh, we have a, a consumer council and they have uh, during the last decades they have a, a reasonable high trust among among, among consumers. A lot of good people are work, working there, and and uh, uh, and the idea of uh, and our institution, Sifu, is then, then a, a research related and test oriented uh, uh, part of this movement. And of course, it's important to defend uh, the consumer rights with high voices, and, but uh, it's also important that uh, this uh, activity is knowledge-based, that you have something, good argument, not only, uh, no, not only a, a high voice, you also have, have reason behind your, your activity. This is uh, what we're trying here to do at uh, Telecom's television. We are uh, working for the consumer. And uh, we mentioned before uh, the online environment. Mm. We have here many uh, complaints about products that were brought online. How is the situation in Norway? I think that uh, all over Europe this is a problem. And uh, this is a problem that, uh, related to two, two kinds of, of elements. Uh, one is that, at least in, in, in Nordic countries, the businesses that are selling uh, on, 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 uh, online, they are, have not experience in dealing with consumers. They have experience in dealing with with uh, uh, with the web uh, solutions and think that if you have a product, you can sell it. Uh, but uh, the dialogue that the old uh, industry, uh, established industry, and, uh, and and retailers, they have have some always been have some dialogue with with, with the market. And you see it clearly here, probably here in in Romania as well. The local shops, you have some sort of uh, some co contact with them and. Uh, and and and, uh, and things work well, but when you're then setting up uh, 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 online shopping and, and uh, you are not aware of the consumer rights, you are not aware of the of, of what happened, who has the responsibility for something when uh, are going wrong, uh, and and also you also see that some of these uh, these online uh, shops are closing down, when you're complaining they don't exist anymore, yes, uh, and so on. And this is, of course, so, so I think that, that the problem is that this online shopping is a little bit on the side of the, of the ordinary shopping, uh, uh, at least in, in, in Norway. And the other, the other problem is that, uh, that uh, some of this is cross-border shopping. You're buying online from other countries. And when there is a, a consumer dispute, hey, I'm not quite sure what kind of or laws uh, are, are, are used. If you're buying, uh, buying books from Amazon in the US, uh, is this uh, uh, Romanian law? Is it, is it the US? US. Uh, so this, this is, uh, then you have a, a matter for, 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 for the, the juridical persons and, and, and they love that kind of things, but the consumers don't. So, so, so I think that, that uh, this is n another problem. Uh, and, even though the European Union is saying that we have the same rights all over Europe, 
I think very practically this is not the case. So, 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 so this is another reason why this online shopping is, is problematic and, 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 uh, uh, and the part of the consumer complaints and over there also is, is increasing. And it's very interesting to know, for example, here we also have many complaints in tourism, in uh, bank credits. Mm. Well, which are the biggest complaints in your country? The main... Uh... <laughs> yes, that, 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 that depends on, on how, you, uh, how you discuss it. If you l the most complaints, as I used to say, uh, uh, is the complaints that you don't hear, hear about because they are sold at the shop level. And they complain that they're dealing with, probably with small products, with textiles, with clothes, and so on. But the most heavy complaints in, 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 in Norway that are not handling in shops and, uh, or in the dialogue between the seller and, and, and the producer is dealing with the financial market, with banking, especially with insurance problems. Uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, and also some uh, some uh, complaints, problems dealing with uh, with uh, house housing buying, buying and selling houses, and so on. the big problems that involves a lot of money and and uh, where, where both the seller and and, and, the, and the buyer uh, have have uh, a lot of money to lose. So there they are the heavy cases. Uh, so so and especially insurance, uh, they take long time. Uh, if uh, if you hear your house are burning down, and 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 reasonable, uh, and and there are some reasons for for that you're not going to get full money back, then it takes time, and you're sitting there waiting and they waiting. They all always yeah. seem to find a reason. Yeah, that was, yeah, so, yes, yes. So 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 this this is is a, a complicated matter, and, and uh, but again, I think that the consumer council uh, uh, in in. Uh, Dialogue with the, the branch organization for for for, for insurance and and, and, uh, and banking are setting up some sort of complaint handling board that client will take part of uh, in solving this problem because consumers don't want to take these matters to court because uh, they usually have limited resources to deal with the big the big monopolies in insurance and and, and banking. We're going to take uh, another question from our chat, and I want to thank our viewers for the questions. Uh, Corina, we'd like to know how to protect uh, the consumers from fake products, like the ones made in China, fake from well-known companies. Yes. Uh, I'm sure you are invaded too in Norway. Yes. As any country. Yes, uh, especially on fake. Uh, uh, it's also a part of this this uh, horse meat scandals uh, uh, and, and and the fake. Pro pro That's the case when they can harm people. For example, uh, clothes and other uh, things. Uh, not so much. Not so much. But but the problem is that that they are produced uh, far away, and and and. Uh, what we're doing here in, in Europe is to set up rules and, and, and systems and, and uh, to handling the, uh, the production in, in Europe. Uh, and uh, what was happening in, in, uh, in China, Bangladesh, India and so on is very difficult. And I'm, I've been involved in a project about textiles uh, uh, to see uh, along the value chain from India to, 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 to Norway. And, and what's happening, especially for for the environmental aspects and the, and, and the use of child labor and, and so on, so uh, and all, many of the of the big companies have also representatives in this country to, to find out what's happening. Uh, but I think that uh, there is a this is a problem that is very difficult to to to. to to solve, uh, because there, there's a lot of corruption in, in, in this case as well, and and and, and we uh, we are, are, are small. The consumer movement are small against the big the big companies. Th think about what kind of resources you have for your activity. Compare it with the big the big companies. You understand what we are talking about. Yes, it's quite difficult. Uh, another question from our chat from Nico. He would like to know how many people live in Norway and which is the value of GDP per inhabitant. 
I, I don't know the last question. Uh, I think it's reasonably high, and then we are, we are about five five million people. Uh, it's a, it's a, a, a country that are not so very large, but but we have uh, the the distance from from the southern part of Norway to the northern part of Norway is is very uh, very, very big and and uh, uh, very cold and and and. Uh, uh, dark in, in in the winter time, but uh, but uh, so if you turn Norway around, uh, you will find that the distance between uh, the southern part of Norway and northern part of Norway is like from Oslo to Rome. So 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 it's it's a reasonably large distance. But the the, the DMP is on uh, on on. I don't know ex the exact uh, figure, but I think it's reasonably reasonable high. And 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 uh, the the especially. Thing is that uh, we have not so been so affected by uh, the economic crisis uh, during the last years uh, as the rest of Europe, and uh, it has to do with with the uh, oil economy, uh, also with that, uh, that the fisheries has been very successful in the last decades and so on. So, so, so uh, uh, but there are signals uh, also in the Norwegian export industry that there are. There are Problems in into selling the products in the European market, especially uh, especially fish products, uh, because man, many of our, our traditional buyers, that's in Portugal and, and Spain, has, uh, has has problems. I have a question about the future, and I want to know uh, which are the most important projects that you have for the near future. I think that the uh, the most important project for the future is uh, sustainable consumption. To move consumption from uh, to uh, to look at uh, is important. It's not possible to think that we can continue with our consumption consumer society for decades if you're not taking into account the the environmental impact of, of this consumption. And this thing is the, is the most important question, and uh, because there are. Millions, billions of people in India and China and Brazil and South Africa, they, they, they claim their share of the, of the, the values in, in the world. And I don't see any good reasons to, to, uh, that this, this, they do not have their, their part of it. And, and so though we had to think this globally to find some sort of, of, of solution, uh, not in the way that happened in Greece, this is not the way to do it. We have to do it in a planned way to find a sustainable consumption level that everybody can can uh, can have a, a good life and, and, and enjoy the consumer society. Uh, and that means that some of us has to think about uh, the big question in life, how much is enough? Uh, there is no good answer to it, but you have to ask that, this question. This, uh, this thing is most important. Thing, uh, thing is not maybe not for me, but at least for my children and grandchildren, they are going to, to, to live in, in, in a world that we uh, hope will be will be uh, successful also for their life. Uh, to end our discussion, I want to say that uh, as we spoke uh, earlier, this is your uh, only TV uh, interview mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. here in Romania, yeah, yeah. and we are very happy it was here in Telecons. Mm -hmm. And I want to hear your opinion about our init initiative about uh, Telecons Television. Yeah, I am uh, impressed about what you are doing uh, with limited resources, uh, setting up a communication channel with the, with the consumers. And I think that. Then you are linking it, you're linking yourselves to, to, to probably not so many people uh, at the same time. But but I think that you have to to begin in a, in, in a small sentence and, and move uh, the big the big uh, uh, afterwards. So, so I think that I'm very impressed that it's able to to have this, this dialogue with, with consumers. And, and uh, uh, in that case, you will probably. Uh, Recognize during the process that uh, the businesses uh, uh, will look what you are doing. So I think that it's very important that that what you all think that what you are doing are, are knowledge based and, and very solid, and, and not uh, just uh, uh, flagging flagging things without without reasons. So I think that uh, because you can also have uh, consumer scandals, uh, so th and the best way to avoid that kind of, of, of thing is is that. That uh, the policy and your arguments are, are scientifically based. 
thank you very much for your time. And I hope uh, maybe we will see each other soon again. Hopefully, that's going to be the case. Thank you very much. We will be right back for the second part of our show.